He's just a kid, Adrian. No. That's no kid. Elliot was a kid. Mariah was a kid. Sam. Jaden. Connor. Madison. Those were all kids. This guy, no. He's no child. Anything else? Just this. No teeth again? Either they're trying to hide the dental records or someone's making a collection. Tyler Benson. What have you gotten yourself into? Sounds like you've had an eventful couple of weeks. Come on, Tyler. Let's talk. I've already given you guys everything I know. Sure. I've read over the transcripts. They're well-worded, factual, informative. It's what I'd expect from a journalist. But I'm tired of hearing the facts. I want to hear your own personal account. I want to know what happened to you. We have our best officers on this case. Rest assured, your children are safe. And if you have any other information, please contact us. You got an ID. Tell Nicole to stop by the parents' house. She's already on her way. to the families of the missing children as another body has been found. Though no confirmations have been made, authorities suspect it to be in conjunction with the three children reported missing within the last month. Mariah Smith and Madison Parker have been found dead, leaving Sam Bridges as the last missing child. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> On a curious side note, locals have observed a sudden increase in missing cats. continues to sweep the university bookstore where a local journalist exposed a disgruntled employee who was double charging patrons on a daily basis and pocketing the profits. We're here tonight with the journalist Tyler Benson. Tyler, how did you discover this bit of foul play? Well, Kimberly, I, um, I had heard a rumor about some hidden charges going on at this particular location, so I decided to uh, dive in and get personal with it. Did you find yourself a victim of this scam? When I heard the rumor, I went in and made a purchase. And upon checking with my bank, it appeared that I had indeed been charged twice. Investigative journalism at its finest. <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly. Well, Tyler, I have to ask, are there any more scandals brewing up in town? Anything big on your radar ready to be uncovered? Shut up. <laughs> Tyler? You'll see, Kim. You will see. The police chief is telling us that our children are going to be safe. But can we really trust that? You do have a story, right? Right?
local animal shelter employee refuses to put down pets, instead releasing them into the streets. Okay, look, man, that was only once. Besides, have you ever even seen a corgi? <laughs> That's fair. Still nothing? I'm just, I'm blanking so hard on an idea right now. What about those missing kids? No, no, that's that's already a story. I, I need something fresh. You know, I don't need something to cover. I need something to to uncover. to you live from the last known location of eight-year-old Ashton Gardner. Ashton was reported missing approximately 15 hours ago. The question on everyone's mind remains, is this case related to the other missing children reported over the last few months? Only time will tell. Hey, Tyler. Thanks again for coming in tonight. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Oh, anytime you have something good for us. Do not hesitate to call. I wasn't lying when I said I'm excited to hear what you uncover next. Well, uh, I wasn't lying when I said I have something cooking up. Nothing's really standing out, you know? Well, maybe you just step out, you know? Like, think outside of your box. I guess... I guess I'm also... I'm also just scared that I'll go out, look the wrong way, and miss something. Like, shit, I, I only caught on to the bookstore because I was at the right place at the right time. Well, you're not going to find shit sitting here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a, a pair of binoculars and notice that a neighbor murdering his wife. Shit, but what if he sees me? And take out your camera and blind him with your flash. Perfect. Why ever leave the house? <sighs> to murder and foul play, my friend. Jesus. It's been nearly 24 hours since eight-year-old Ashton Gardner has been missing. Authorities have been at the park since the crack of dawn in an attempt to preserve the integrity of the scene. We'll keep you posted on further developments. I'm a sorry. But for now, Rule here. on to slightly lighter matters. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your pets are? A dramatic increase in missing cats has been reported throughout the area. With this story, we now come to you live with Mark Larson. Mark? Tonight we take a look at one of the walls covered 
missing cat posters. Excuse me, sir. How long has your cat been missing? Do you suspect your cat has fallen victim to kidnapping? Sir? Off, parasite. That is not a real cat. No. Mm -mm. That 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 is that's a picture of a cat. No, no, you idiot. There's no such thing as a as a blind calico cat. That is a sign of lies, my friend. Maybe they maybe they didn't know that. Who cares? Well, other than you. Okay, man. I just don't want to go on this fruitless night hunt for for make believe kitty. You know what? You are a true detective, my friend. You are a straight up feline forensics guru. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know. I mean it. Actually, that could be your next story. Your uncanny knowledge of all things pussy? I'm talking about this imaginary cat shit, man. You gotta do something about it. You know, why don't you do something about it? <laughs> Mr. High and Mighty Cat Expert. Maybe I will. Forensics? Yep. They found blood on the playground. Ashton Gardeners. Looks like she was slammed to the ground and then drug out to the street where a car must have been waiting. Has the press gotten a hold of this? Not yet. Where's Nicole? She has some questions for Mrs. Gardner. This is rule. We'll be right there. Porter. <laughs> I think I found my story. Homicide, Nicole.
Hey, princess! Stop. Okay, look. I found put more of the same format. Awesome. Thank you, sweetheart. No, nope. well, let's go get this rent paid. Rent? <laughs> no promises on that, but there's, dude, there's definitely something here. What kind of theories? Not quite. Maybe. I don't know. But look at this. I'm explain this. Why the uniformity? These are practically identical. What do they do? Have the same template for this shit? Well, are people really that lazy? Well, see, that's why I'm wondering what if the same person put them both up? Okay. That's an interesting thought, but listen to this, just spitball. Okay. What if they found the cat? They found the post, decided to make a post about the found cat that's identical, attracted the owners. That just don't make sense because you can just save more time by calling the number. Yeah, no, that's way too much unnecessary work. Why have the same missing cat flyers with two different descriptions? Maybe they put up the lost cat signs to try to get cats. You know, just like stock up on them. Then they make the found signs to sell them back to people. Like for reward money. Hey, boom. This is your first story. That's gonna be a big one too. I'm gonna have to dig a bit further. I, I mean, what if they're legit? You got the number, so call them up. <laughs> what, like now? Okay, grow up here. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yes? Yes, yes, I'm calling about a missing cat. Blonde Calico, ring any bells? What might the cat's name be? Her name? It's, uh, Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> yeah, Fluff, yeah, Fluffy. And if you've seen her... I... Tell me that wasn't suspicious. Tell me that wasn't suspicious. Why, how would she even know the cat's name? Seriously though, Fluffy? We gotta work on your creativity, buddy. I guess. Don't disturb me. I'm about to take a nap. Take a nap. What the hell are you doing out here? Making a living. This crime scene isn't public knowledge. How did you get wind of it? I heard it over a police scanner. Why don't you ask them? I bet they're on the same boat. Stay back, okay? Just stay back!
Yeah, I'm looking for my cat, Ellie. my cat? <laughs> yeah. You have the reward money? Yeah. Emergency Center, what's your emergency? Did you hear anything last night? 
anything at all. Any neighbors been acting strange lately? Seen any kids you don't recognize? No, it's, um, uh, it's been a pretty regular week. Um, the only strange thing was, um, some kids going by on skateboards, making a lot of noise last night, smelling like pot, but that's nothing new. You don't think they did it, do you? Doubt it. We'll be questioning the neighbors, though. If you do hear or remember anything at all, please don't hesitate to call us. We have an ID. It's uh, Ellie Sharp. We found her head. children. The images you are about to see are considered extremely disturbing. Viewer discretion is heavily advised. The body has been identified as nine-year-old Ali Sharp. We pray that no similar fate awaits the other missing children. Sam Bridges, Madison Parker, Connor Lopez, Jaden Hall, Mariah Smith, and now Ali Sharp, all tragically dead. With three more children still missing, we beg the community to. Any updates? No, nothing. Uh, nothing yet. Cool. Yeah. Describe your cat. Oh, cats. How many? Could you tell me their names? Perfect. Okay, Tyler. We'll call you again later to make specific arrangements, okay? Bye-bye.
hello, hello. You have something for it? Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. We threw in a little something extra for you. Don't tell the others. Kitties, we have quite the show to put on today now, don't we? Now, who shall go first? And don't we... What's going on, man? This is beyond me. Adrian. He's a journalist. He started following this case not too long ago. But he seems to know a great deal. I know it raises some questions. And he's press. But we can't ignore what he has to offer. He brought in a stack of information that he's collected through his own investigations. I don't know. I ran a background check on him. He doesn't really have any credentials in terms of journalism, but his record's clean. What does he have? So, why the cats? Well, that's how they advertise their product, the children. They, they make these fake cat names that fit the description of the child and you, you contact them to express interest. They'll, they'll call you back to make arrangements and then they meet you up to exchange the snuff films for money. Whoa, wait a minute, you lost me. When did we start talking about snuff films? That's the product. I thought the children were their product. They are. They don't sell you the children. They sell you video of the children being, being tortured and, and killed. And how do they figure all that out? What if, what if they're just looking for their cat? <laughs> Well, that's the thing. They, don't, they, they design these posters so they don't fit the description of any cat. Have you ever heard of a blonde calico? Look at the picture. That's not even a calico. Okay. Let Brooks in. 
I thought he was better at this. Tag him out. His focus should be on that file. I'm going to step outside for a moment, Tyler. You want anything? Some water, maybe? Some more coffee? Kids in shock. What exactly did he give you in that book? Well, it's mostly cat posters, photos of the dead children. And he gave me this. Oh, wait, are those the films he mentioned? I assume so. But I have to check them out first. You're going to watch them? After I swab them for prints? Somebody has to. See, I tried to get the license plate number, but they had it covered up. So I went home, started watching the DVDs, and turned it off as soon as I realized what it was. So at that point, you discovered that these people were taking children, murdering them on camera, and selling the footage? Yeah. And you didn't contact the authorities? No. You had video documentation of a nine-year-old child being slaughtered by two women. And you kept it to yourself? I kept it to myself only until I was able to get more evidence. And by getting more evidence, you mean? Getting the rest of the DVDs. I needed proof that they killed them all. You withheld evidence from us, Tyler. Evidence we desperately needed. Yes, but, but I'm, I'm here now. Yeah. After getting off to three more children being murdered. <laughs> you actually think I got off to this? Did you make copies for yourself? No, of course not. Why would I have come here? Let me tell you what it sounds like to me. You stumbled upon something new and fascinating, something you've never seen before. You know it's wrong, but you can't help but enjoy it. So you go back to the source, clean them out of everything they have, and once they run dry, you turn them in, as if to justify. I think you withheld this information from us so that you can see more for yourself. That's what it sounds like to me. You have no idea what you're talking about. I hope to God you're right. Thoughts? He's holding something back. He's playing it off like he's victim to some unfortunate misunderstanding, but I'm not buying it. Those hands aren't clean. I think he's involved in those murders. I don't know about that. Sick bastard, maybe. But a murderer? He's just a kid, Adrian. No. That's no kid. Ellie was a kid. Mariah was a kid. Sam. Jaden. Connor. Madison. Those were all kids. This guy, no. He's no child. Tyler Benson. What have you gotten yourself into? Sounds like you've had an eventful couple of weeks. Come on, Tyler. Let's talk. I've already given you guys everything I know. Sure. I've read over the transcripts. They're well-worded, factual, informative. It's what I'd expect from a journalist. But I'm tired of hearing the facts. I want to hear your own personal account. I want to know what happened to you. You guys think I have something to do with this, don't you? That's not what I asked. But it's what you're thinking, right? Would it make a difference to your story? No. It doesn't matter what I think. All I see is a guy 
who participated in the distribution of some very illicit material. Regardless of intention, this is the truth. I'm giving you the opportunity to fully explain yourself from the beginning. I want the raw, unabridged version, crawling with the details that only you seem to understand. I had been desperately searching for a new story. I just had my big break, so I didn't want to lose my momentum. When my roommate... Hello there, kitties. We have quite the show to put on today, now don't we? Now, who shall go first? And don't worry, you shall all get your turn. Just know that some of you won't get to enjoy the show as long, which I admit, is unfair. Sometimes that's just how life is. Unfair. So, I want everyone to pick a number between one and ten. Babe, could you take off the gags? Thanks. Let's go down the line. have our first contestant. <laughs> but when I got the rest of the DVDs, I, uh, I knew I had to come to you. One moment, Tyler. And I don't think Tyler even knows. Got anything? Well, the prints we pulled off the CD cases, we're still running those through our database. But there's something. There's uh, something else. prints we got on that CD case. You're gonna love this. So, Alice, police scanners? That's how you were always able to find the bodies first. What can I say? I'm good at my job. That can't be too hard when you already know where to look. There's nothing illegal about filming a crime scene. I know what you're involved in, Ellis. You're so full of shit. You know what this really is? I think you just have it in for the press. Man, you don't got shit on me, so quit wasting my time. No. No, oh, no. Tell me a story, Ellis. I don't even know what the... Sit down. Because if you don't give me anything... You think pedophiles had to talk in prison? I, I never killed any of them. I know you didn't. Why? Because I had to watch your little videos. I had to watch them, Ellis. And let me tell you, I have seen some messed up shit in my days. But this... Look, look, Adrian. Detective rule. 
Okay, detective, look. Maybe I, maybe I do have a story for you. Keep talking. But I want full immunity. Ah. I need to make some kind of a deal. Know what? Give me something good enough, who knows? Maybe, and this is a fat ass maybe, we could keep you out of general pop, give you a parole nod, get you into a relatively low security prison. If, and only if, you give me something really good, really fucking good. You have nothing to lose. Oh, okay. Their names are Amber and Molly. I never caught their last names. They're a young couple that just wanted to have a child of their own. Now over 16 hours missing, eight-year-old Mariah Smith is still no- Shut up! 
fucking mommies now, Mariah. What, what don't you understand about Mommy! 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 I want, I want to go home! God, you are home. You are fucking home! I don't understand how you can be so stupid! You need to call us your mommies now. Got it? Listen to him, my lovely. I don't think you're appreciating what we're trying to do for you here. Now we're going to try this again, and you're going to listen to us. You need to eat. Okay? Where's my mom? Where's my mom? <laughs> What do you want? That's it? Okay. Okay. He said he's gonna help us. He just wants pictures of the body. Apparently he can sell that shit. I told them about how it was sold on the black market, and they made me a proposition. What about the latest children? I can take you to find their bodies. Tyler, when did you place that first order? Ye yesterday. No, it wasn't the day Tyler, before. when? Two nights ago. Did you watch it? What? Tyler, man, did you watch it? Only the beginning. What about that first phone call, huh? When you got the video of Ellie Sharp. When did you place that order? I'm sorry, what, what's going on? Last week, on the 22nd, 
Is that when you got it? Yeah, actually. How, how did you... God did... damn it, Tyler! You really have no idea, do you? What are you talking... What, what don't I know? What? Tyler, the 22nd, man. That was the date. Ellie was murdered. Oh, okay, and, and so... She was alive until you made that order. No. No, 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 no. Wait, they were already made. Those children were already dead. They were alive. The children were still alive until you made that order. Well, I better get started. Go with the kitties. You're saying, you, you think, <laughs> I'm, no, no. You damn them. Ellie, Ashton, Emery, Jordan. You sentenced them to death. I, I had no idea. You have to believe me. I had no idea. Go home. Rest up. We'll be getting in touch with you real soon.
Something last minute came up tonight. Something we know you'll love. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm broke. No, no, no. This one's on us. We have a huge surprise tonight, and as one of our loyal customers, we wanted to extend to you our invitation. Interested? Yes. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> Be at Centennial and Heritage in 30 minutes. Come alone and wait outside by the kitty. Oh. And wear a mask, okay? Keep leaving me in the dark like this. Porter, I, you know, I'm sorry. I don't have time to explain. I royally fucked up, and I need to fix it. Tonight. Right now. Do what you gotta do, man. I need, I need to talk to him right now. Sorry, I can only board you. If he isn't in, then you're gonna have to try again. No, you, you don't understand. Doesn't he have a cell phone, a pager, anything? I'm afraid I can't share that information with you. I'm gonna hang up now. Well, can you leave him a message for me? At least, please? Just, just tell him. Tyler Benson. Listen closely. Go left out of the parking lot, then straight, right, 
Straight, straight, left, straight, right. Walk to unit three and be at the red light in nine minutes. The door will open for one. Be there. for 12-year-old Taylor Myers. It is reported that a dark vehicle approached the victim around 11.30 p.m. on Osage Avenue heading north. If you have any further information, please contact your local police department. We will keep you updated as events unfold. I need to report an incident. I'm, I'm gonna murder a child. Stay on the line. I want Detective Adrian Will to hear it. This is Adrian. What? Do you have a location? Hello, friends. Tonight, we have a very special surprise. For the past few months, you marvelous creatures 
have been supporting our passion. And for the past several months, we have been providing you with the materials to fulfill your curious lust. Tonight, we have a very, very special treat. <sighs> You're here now, and I'm your mommy now. If you play along with us tonight, tonight, these demons of sound surround us. And how can we hide from these monsters? by making as little noise as possible. <laughs> the louder you scream, the closer they are allowed to get. <laughs> Does that sound fair, Taylor? <laughs> oh, of course not. Oh, come on, Taylor. We're doing so I'm very Disappointed in you, Deary. I thought you wanted to play. Well, love, that's enough of an opening show. Yes, I think that they are ready. Tonight, my demons, you will have no screen separating you from the show. Tonight, you can watch this little kitty as she watches you. Oh, yes. Indulge yourselves, everyone. Indulge yourselves. Because tonight, for the next 30 minutes, we have this precious <laughs> daughter's life to ourselves. Indulge yourself.
if you drop something. Oh, my bad. Using inconspicuous codes to communicate. 